Hello there, this is Andrew from No Code No Problem. And today in this tutorial, I will show you how to use reusable elements and uh, passing data to pop-ups so that you can reuse your UI elements and don't uh, repeat them manually. Let me show you first uh, the demo app and uh, which features it has here. It's a simple app that uh, primarily has one user data model user and it allows you to register your profile and save and edit your profile information like first name, second name, email, uh, phone number, company, etc. etc. And this is on the us user part on the admin. I'm currently logged in as an admin here. Uh, I will also have an access to users, a list of whole users uh, where I can uh, uh, find them, where I can uh, go to their user profile and also make changes here as an uh, admin uh, and make admin changes like deleting user and, and I can also create new user or I can also edit a, a user details uh, right here from the pop-up and without the need to move to a separate user uh, profile screen etc. As you can see in all of these uh, places that I showed you, uh, the UI is uh, very, very similar. In fact, it is the same with a few tiny customizations. And I will show you how you can uh, recreate the same flow so that you reuse the same UI for different screens and without the need to duplicate all of the code and all of the uh, UI components and all of the workflow. Let's jump straight to the application. Let me show you the data types that we have. As I mentioned, it's just one data type user. It's a standard one that has a couple of standard fields and also uh, typical user fields like status. It can be draft approved, pending, suspended, second name, first name, photo, role, ID, home address, and postcodes, company name, uh, etc. And that's pretty much it. The app is uh, pretty simple. And uh, let's jump straight to creating this uh, reusable component because we will use it on all of the screens. To create a reusable component, you press the button here, add a new reusable element, and uh, this is user profile view, a reusable group. It's important, it needs to be type group of the type of content. Itself, it is a pretty simple one. It uses uh, standard uh, glide, uh, standard uh, bubble elements, like picture upload, uh, input field that uh, takes the parent uh, group user data and the respective field there and display the, displays it here. Uh, on the save click, we have a simple workflow to, uh, oops, to make changes to the user. Let's ignore this extra condition here for now. Make changes to the parent group users and assign it a respective uh, input value uh, when user clicks on save. And notice I also trim most of the data because uh, usually it's better to not include the trailing white spaces or at the end of the user inputs. Um, it's pretty simple to create this reusable element uh, in a Glide in Bubble and uh, it's uh, uh, then simple to put it on the uh, for example, uh, my profile screen, uh, just as a reusable element, drag and dropping it from here, uh, user profile view, uh, which I already did uh, there. And uh, important to pass data to it so that it has some data to uh, display. In this case, if it's a my profile, that would be a profile of the current user. And uh, that is uh, the data source that we want to pass uh, there. So uh, that's how we reuse uh, reusable elements uh, in Bubble. And now let's reuse them uh, a couple of more times on different screens. For example, on the uh, profile of the user. This is an admin view of the profile, so the fields are editable. And uh, that's why we can use reuse the same ones. Uh, if it's a public view for your application, and uh, that shouldn't be editable for any for other users, uh, you can of course make it and not editable or change the view accordingly. So for the admin side, we reuse actually the same element and pass just the different um, data source to it uh, because this is page as a whole of type uh, 
the whole profile page of type a user uh, and uh, the content that is passed here from the previous screen when we click on the respective element so we can pass this data source for the current page user and it will be displayed here notice that i also added on top one more element this is this delete user action that is available only to admins and that helps uh, delete the user on this page so you can put to the standard uh, reusable element and then add extra buttons on top whenever you uh, need to add them uh, notice also that on the admin side let's return to this user profile i added a couple of actions here that uh, are uh, admin on admin specific uh, like changing the uh, user status and uh, i uh, auto binded it to this reusable element thing to the status so that when the uh, admin changes the status it will be saved automatically without even the need to press uh, uh, save and added the extra buttons if it's needed uh, by your profile uh, by your user your application flow like for example in this case approve button um, that moves the user uh, status from uh, from pending to approved and also sends uh, the so the alert for the user and sells, sends the email to the user that Ray, your profile uh, in this app has been approved. Okay, and so this is how we customize uh, the same reusable element and display more or less actions and informations uh, based on the uh, user role or the data that uh, you currently display on this page or the page where it is being displayed uh, one important thing to notice uh, to for auto binding to work you actually need to allow it in the privacy tab uh, so that uh, it has a separate rule auto binding um, these uh, rules are very powerful and recommended you to know them and uh, use them and uh, auto binding wouldn't work if you don't explicitly allow it for specific uh, user roles or types of your uh, users or based on their data for example uh, like here okay so uh, we reuse the element uh, two more times let's go to our um, to our admin profile screen where i see a list of uh, all of the users which is this one and i have this uh, beautiful reusable pop-up uh, here that uh, it has the same pretty much the same view both for edit user and for uh, add user how do how did i do that and how you can do the same you can do that uh, with a similar flow by adding uh, one more reusable element on top a reusable pop-up uh, to create a reusable pop-up it's the same as creating the reusable element just when you click it uh, let's go to this our uh, add edit user pop-up uh, just change this type from group to pop-up and also pass a type of user to this pop-up and inside of this pop-up, I just placed a couple of standard fields like the title here that says add user close button. And uh, this again, the same uh, reusable element user profile view and past parents group users to it. So that when this pop-up uh, shows up, I pass uh, the data to this pop-up and then pass the data from the pop-up to this reusable element. And again, I reused it um, again. And in order to pass the data, let me go to admin profiles. When, for example, uh, the user clicks on the edit button uh, to pass the data to the pop-up, you uh, trigger the action display data. Uh, select which element to display, our pop-up, and uh, data to display. Parent groups uh, user, in this case, is parent group, which is itself a current cells user. And then that is not enough, by the way, you just pass the data that way and you need to show actually this uh, group by triggering a show element action and uh, specifying which element to show and in case of adding a user you just uh, reset the current data in the uh, pop-up so that it cleans the previous data that might have been there and uh, displays this pop-up as an empty one um, if uh, you were uh, interesting enough you might also notice that the for example, the title and the button changes here uh, based whether I click edit or add. And that's true. And this is achieved uh, simply by um, 
adding a condition, for example, here in the reusable element, uh, if the parent group's user is empty, and it will be empty when we don't pass uh, there anything. For example, in the case when I click add, and if it is empty, then change the text to create. And that's the same condition that you probably saw in the workflow in the beginning uh, that I mentioned we'll return to later. So uh, when we press on save and the um, parent group user is not empty, meaning it's an edit flow, then we have a user to edit. We make a change to this uh, thing, to this user. Uh, on the contrary, when the parent group's user is empty, meaning it's an add user flow, so that we don't have a thing to add it, we need to create it. We trigger a different uh, flow. We trigger a create thing uh, flow, and then uh, and then it, the, it, this uh, uh, thing will be created. Uh, however, because we work here with the user model, and the user model is special uh, in uh, Bubble, it uh, cannot be created with create thing flow. Uh, it needs to be created with uh, create an account for someone else. Uh, flow, which is similar to create a thing, just uh, special for a uh, user because it's a special data type in uh, Bubble. And we just collect all of the data from the input screen, uh, from all the inputs, and pass them as fields to this uh, user. Create, uh, uh, as mentioned, uh, in other cases, you'll be using create a new thing and uh, do actually the same. This extra flow is used so that when you actually create it, to immediately display this user in the same pop-up, and so that you can continue editing it if you want. Uh, and the same for uh, add edit pop-up in this uh, header when the parent groups is uh, not empty, uh, you change it to edit user for the edit flow. Uh, and uh, that is uh, pretty much it. So in review, what we uh, did here today in this uh, tutorial, we started with the task to create a simple app that would reuse uh, the same UI component uh, in different places so that we can eliminate the uh, code duplication and the UI elements duplication and workflow duplication, and thus reduce uh, the bugs and make our application simpler and easier to maintain and change. Uh, and uh, we achieved that uh, so that this uh, reusable element can be used in many different places, as I showed here. And uh, we achieved this goal by creating uh, two reusable elements. Uh, the main one, user profile view, with a couple of changes uh, based on the uh, user role, like whether it's admin or not, on whether we open it uh, with the data or without data. And uh, uh, add edit user pop-up, which we also made a reusable element and actually use the same um, user profile view and uh, pass the data to the um, appropriate uh, part uh, of this uh, pop-up. I hope you find it useful, enjoy it. Uh, we'll attach a link to the full article where, display, where we explain in the text format all of what we did here. We'll also add a link to this uh, app so that you can play around with it uh, yourself. If you have any more questions, feel free to hit us uh, in the comment section. And uh, if you would like us uh, to help you build your uh, own uh, similar apps and launch your MVP uh, super fast and uh, efficiently, uh, uh, write us at no code, no problem, and we'll be glad to help. Thanks for watching. Cheers and have a great day. Bye-bye.